welcome back to Save with Judy and welcome to Monday Minis. Before we get started with doing our savings challenges, I wanted to share with you a few new things I have put up in my Etsy shop. The first thing is a new game that I've put up. It's called Merry Christmas and you roll the die and um, if you land in a blank spot, you just save whatever's on the die. If you land on a cookie anywhere throughout the game, then you can choose if you want to skip that, if you roll a big number and you want to skip it, or if you've rolled a low number and you'd like to double it. And you can use any size die that you want. If you want to use just the six-sided because you're a lower budgeter like me, or if you'd like to use the eight-sided or the 12-sided, it's all up to you. But anyway, I thought this would be a fun game to play maybe starting next month through Christmas. And it comes with an envelope. And this is in my Etsy shop now. Okay, and then the other thing that I've added, set these aside just a minute, I put a new six card savings challenge on. It's called Christmas Gnomes. I know everyone loves the gnomes, I do too. And you save a total of $200 with it, and it comes with the A5 dashboard and an A6. And you get six scratcher cards, and it will total $200 when you finish. And there's a different gnome on each each card. And I think that they are so cute. And they make a nice Christmas savings. Even if this is something you wanted to just put into your Christmas binder that you where you save all year in, that would be a good way to do it. Okay. And then I made three other little scratchers. These are just the little five by seven cardstock scratchers like that I do. And these this is also Christmas gnome. And there's three different uh, gnomes on here that are not on these other cards. So I think that they turned out pretty good, too. We've got a $50, a $75, and a $100. Little Christmas gnome there. So those are now in my Etsy shop. And then this one I just love, and I'm going to be doing this one myself. And it's called Christmas Cookies All Year Long. And I'm wanting to start in January and start saving toward Christmas all year. And this one is is a scratcher for each month, and each scratcher is $50. So you would save a total of $600 with this binder for the year. So there's January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, and December. And it does have a, a cover, back cover, and a front cover. And it comes with the a little elastic to hold it together. So this one is also in my Etsy shop now. And I think this is going to make a really good Christmas savings to do throughout the year at $50 a month. That's not too bad. And then the last thing, new thing I've put in is I've made a new little binder here for emergency fund. And this idea, I had a 1K uh, savings binder anyway that I've not actually done the challenge myself, but it's in my shop. But when we had the real emergencies a few weeks ago with the flooding and the uh, tornadoes and the hurricane and everything, um, I thought, you know, this would be a good way to save for an emergency fund to use as what a lot of people call bug out money. And I uh, actually had a subscriber that told me that she had to uh, evacuate and she used all the money that she had in her binders that she was saving to evacuate. This right here would be a 1K savings. If you get the cash in here, sock it away somewhere, but keep it as cash. Don't put it in the bank because if the electricity is off, you can't use an ATM card. The banks are not going to be open. You'll have no way to get cash. So anyway, this one is the emergency fund. And here are the denominations that you save in. And then it comes with an envelope for each one of the denominations. And they are $5, $10, $20, $25, and $30. 
and it also comes with a back dash a back in back cover and this front cover so anyway i'm going to be doing this one myself and i'm going to be doing it on saturdays with my members of, of my channel so i think we're going to have a good time with it but i want to let you know this is in my shop and you can get it as a binder or i have put it in there where you can just you can purchase just the uh, envelopes only and download them print them and put them in a little binder of your own so that's in there too i just wanted to share that stuff with you guys before we get saving today okay let's get saving let's count our money and see what we have here and what am i doing for dinner we are having meatloaf tonight meatloaf some mashed potatoes and some green peas and some rolls and a coconut impossible pie okay so we have 10 15 i'm not what am i doing i never count the money on mondays because you know what this is all ones let's just do it i don't know every monday i start to count it and think what am i doing there's no point in counting all that money because i'm not counting all those ones okay so let's go ahead and do our dollar a day and I am not spending any money today. We actually have stayed home. So let's do a save. Put in a dollar and color in another little icon for October. And this will be $21 today. And this challenge I purchased from Donna Powered by Creativity. So let's put that in. Okay, so there we go. We'll just sit this right over here. Now let's do our likes first. And we are on the very last thumbs up on the likes, and we are doing $12 today. I think we had like 120 or something like that in likes. And I do 10 cents a like. So color this one in and this let's add them up and see what we got for this row and then we'll add them up and see what we got for the whole card and then next week we'll start a brand new card okay let's get our calculator okay we have 11 13 12 11 12 and 12, boy, I messed it up, 11, 13, 12, 11, 12, and 12, $71, okay, we're $10 less than what we had the last row, now let's see what we had for the whole card, because usually I will take the money out at the end of a row, okay, $71, $81, $83, $81, $86, $89, and $63. $554. It's what we saved all total on this card. Isn't that something? So let's, we needed to put in our 12. I don't think I did, did I? No, I did not. So Let's see if this adds up to our 71. I did that. No, let me see. I don't know what I'm doing. Here, here's what we had to have at the end. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, 71. I'm a dollar short. No, 71. That's what it is, 71. So we finished that row. We will put on in a new card for next week. Not real sure where I'm going to designate this money to go. But I don't know if I want to put it into sinking funds or toward other challenges like maybe vacation or toward that new emergency fund. I don't know. I'll have to decide. So we're going to put a dollar into our ding 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 envelope though because we finished that card 
So let's do that and ring the bell. Okay, and we'll put a new card in here for next week. For those of you that don't know, I save a 10 cents for every like I get on Mondays. So that's the way we do it. Okay, isn't that a song? It's the way we do it. <laughs> okay, let's do rainy day and sunny day. Okay, we had three days that we had some rain. We didn't have a day where it rained all day, but we did have some rain on three days. So we're going to be putting in $3 for rainy day. Okay, so let's pull out our rainy day money. We now have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars in rainy day. Okay, and then sunny day. We had a beautiful, beautiful Sunday. I save Instead of doing sunny days by the day, I save five dollars if we have a sunny Sunday. So we're going to do another. Oh, that one uh, it's pink, that's not orange, Judy. I was looking at the orange and picked up the pink. Okay. five dollars in for this and we are getting so close on this sunny day okay so we have 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 70 75 80 85 90 95 100 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 50 55 60 65 when we get finished, it should be $200. And again, I have not decided where I am putting my $200. Okay. Exercise. I did get to go back to the pool this week. And we went two days. We went Tuesday and Thursday. And I was so happy to get back. I love going to the pool. And it's like when you don't go for a while. At the very beginning when you don't go for a day or two. You think oh it's kind of nice for the break. But then you're wanting to go back. That's me. <laughs> okay so we're going to do $2. Into exercise. So let's see what we have now. We have 10, 20. 25, 30, 35, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44. Okay, and then for no spend, we had five days, Monday through Sunday, that we did not spend any money. <clears throat> so, let's color in a little wallet for the 14th. the 15th the 17th and the 18th and the 20th and these are the days that I didn't spend any money okay and let's color in some money so we're keeping this money in our wallet. Okay. So, so far on no spend, we have for the month of October. Let's put in our $5.00. Okay, we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 
11, 12, 13 dollars so far. And of course at the end of the month I moved this money up to my little 24 week challenge. Okay, now we're going to be doing our little our little fall minis or tinies and these are from Gentle Charm Budgets and we do a dollar a card. So let's do another leaf. And we'll do this little one right up here. Okay, and we're going to go ahead and put our money in. There's eight cards, so we're going to put in eight dollars. There's my eight dollars. Okay, there's that card. Let's do another little acorn. going to do another little leaf. I think we'll do this one as an orange. Did you guys have a nice weekend? We did. I really sort of took it easy this weekend and uh, didn't even do a lot around here. I got some things done like these new Etsy items I've put up. I worked on those getting them up and stuff but I kind of took it easier this weekend than what I have been. Okay the candy Let's do, let's do this little candy right here, and I think I am going to make it purple and yellow. Let me do the little dots yellow. And let's do it purple. Well, I wasted my time trying to do those little yellow dots because they just got covered up. Okay, so there's that one. And now let's do another little mushroom. And I think these little tinies that Heather made are so cute. I really enjoyed doing the tinies from uh, my modern homestead. So when Heather came out with these, I thought, ooh, I'm going to do those and keep up what we were doing. Okay, so let's do the bottom. Okay, there's that one. Now we're going to do another pumpkin. And I figure we'll do these until um, until you know, Thanksgiving. Hopefully we'll have them done by then. Okay. And now let's do, let's do this sunflower. Okay, and let's do this one for the center. Okay, and then we have one more, and it is the candle. Let's do, and let's do, uh, let's do this little darker pink candle. Oh, I've got a funny to tell you guys about Guy's chair. I just hope he doesn't hear me. <laughs> he, his chair, you know, I told you that my son called and wanted him to come over to the furniture store and go ahead and pick out the chair. And Gary called and he said, Mom, I know you're saving, you know, doing a savings for Dad a new chair. He said, which chair was it Dad liked? And I told him. 
he, he put me on video call so he could show me, and I said, yes, that's the chair. He said, well, I really like this one over here better. He said, it's a little more expensive. He said, but I really like it. It's bigger. I really like it. I said, well, it's up to your dad, Gary, what kind of chair he wants. And uh, he said, well, have dad come over here. <clears throat> so the guy went over there thinking that Gary was wanting to show him something that he wanted. But when he got over there, Gary told him what he was doing. He said, Dad, sit in this chair. I really think you'd like it better. It's built a lot better. It's bigger and all this stuff. So guy sits in it. And and I told Gary, I said, Gary, don't talk your dad into getting something that you want. You let him get the one he wants. But he went ahead and went with the one Gary wanted. Well, this chair is huge. It's not too big for our room because we have a really huge room. But it's a lot bigger than the chair he had. And Guy's a tall man. He's six one, six two, something like that. But he's slender. He weighs he's been fussing he usually weighs around like a hundred and seventy something and he's fussing because the last time he went to the doctor he weighed a hundred and ninety pounds <laughs> and he's been having a fit about that. And uh, so anyway, he uh was fussing you know, about the chair because when he's sitting in it, it honestly it, the chair is so big that when he's laying back in it it looks like it's going to pop him out of it and I get tickled every time I look over at him and he says that's it that's it I'm taking it back I'm going to change it and all this stuff and I said so Gary came up back up here and we were talking I said God look at it this way you say you're gaining weight this chair is going to last you longer <laughs> you're gaining weight <laughs> He got so mad because I said that. And then he was reading on it. He said, he said it'll hold up to 500 pounds. I said, see, you've got a long way to go. <laughs> He's just been having a fit over this chair. He loves it and he hates it at the same time. <laughs> but it really, he looks so comfortable. And I think he'll end up keeping it. And I think he'll like it. But it is big. <clears throat> I took a picture of him sitting in it and I sent it to Amy. And Amy sends me back a laughing thing and a picture of this, uh, it was a comedian at one time called The Big Red Couch. And this little woman sat on this huge couch. She said, that's what that looks like. But I didn't show him that. I didn't tell him. <laughs> okay, but anyway, he's got his chair and I think he, he's going to end up loving it. Okay, we have 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. And I kept making little snod cracks about his weight. Gary would look at me and say, Mom, you want me to hush? <laughs> I just couldn't help myself. <laughs> okay, let's do our minis. Let's move our cash tray so we'll have some room. Get rid of these pins over here. Okay, this first one is from Debus. No, it's, yeah, Debus Budgets. I see what I said. No, I'm wrong. And this one we've designated for the business binder. And this one was one, a challenge I was doing for Guy's chair. And got Gary and I split it, but I still liked a little bit actually having the whole half and I told Gary I said what let me I got my money that I had out of the envelope I think it was three hundred and ten dollars and uh, I said uh, let me get the other and Gary said no mom just wait when you finish saving it you can give it to me so I'm gonna go ahead and finish saving that for him okay and then we have pumpkin everything please and this one is from need to budget and this is for my car and this one by the way was chatty Kathy budgets Okay, and that's for the vehicle binder. And this one is from Hey K Budgets, our candy corn. And we are saving this one for household. Scoop everything up just a little so you can see. And then wall socks, and this one is from our beautiful budgets. And this one we are saving toward Christmas. And this one with the cute little witch, I cannot figure out who it's from. I don't know. I cannot read, read that. It's too, too tiny. But this one we are saving towards some new clothes. Okay. So let's move this up here and let's get started and let's see where our money's going today if we get to finish any. 
I think the only one that might even be close to finishing is that one, but I don't know. Let's see. <clears throat> see, number four gets two. Five gets two. Six gets two. Four gets two. Five gets two. My goodness. One gets two. Four gets two. One gets two. Four gets two. Come on, two and three. Three gets two. One gets two. One gets two. Four gets two. Boy, four's getting it today. Four gets two. Four gets two. My goodness. Six gets two. Six gets two. Five gets two. Come on, number two needs some love. Four gets two. Four gets two. My goodness, I should just give the pile of money number four. Five gets two. Five gets two. Six gets two. Six gets two. My goodness. Two gets two. Okay. Well, there we go. Okay, let's see how much we have here. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can mark off five twos. Okay, there's one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so let's see how much we have now. Okay, we have five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars. I came out here earlier and turned the heater on out here so it'd be kind of warm to do this video. Now it's kind of hot. Okay, let's see how we did with this one the lost socks. Okay, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so we can color in. Five pair of socks. Should have made this one the new clothes, huh? Okay, there's one. Two, three. Four, and we've got one more. And I think we'll do this one. Maybe this color. Whoops. All right, we have four socks to go. So, all total, now we have. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 dollars in here. And then this one got the biggest pile of money. 
And it is our candy corn from Hey K Budgets. And it goes to household. Okay, so we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Golly. So we can mark off nine of these. Get our okay, so here's one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. Okay. Let's get some yellow to do the bottom. I think that's the highest amount I've ever had on a on a mini is eighteen dollars. That's a lot. I've had I've had fourteen before, but I don't think I've ever had eighteen. Okay, so let's see what we have now in this one. We have five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one. 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44 dollars so far. It's going to be a biggie. Okay, and then this one we have two dollars. So we're just going to do one pumpkin today. Okay, and so now we have 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 31, 32 dollars. And this one goes in my vehicle binder. Okay, and then two dollars toward, not really toward Guy's chair anymore in a way, but this will go toward what I still owe Gary on the chair, which I think I think my part was still about a hundred and thirty dollars more. So we'll just keep saving here. And Gary told me not he said, Mom, don't worry about it, but I'm not doing that. 10, 15, 20, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. I really didn't want him to do it at all. I wanted to get the chair all on my own, but without having to do credit or anything. And uh, but he called me and he said, Mom. He said, let me go ahead and just help on Dad's chair so he can go ahead and get it. And it'll be his Christmas for me. So I said, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight dollars. So we can mark off four little icons. And we have finished this one. We're going to mark off four bats. All right. So let's see how much we saved with this challenge. 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24 dollars. We're going to ring the bell. We're going to get a clip. And we're going to put a dollar into the ding, ding, ding envelope. Okay, so now we have two two challenges here that we can put in our big pink envelope. Let's go ahead and slide them in there and then I will get a new challenge out for next week. And I've got this one here. Since it's October is Breast Cancer Month, I thought I would use this one and this one is from Overthinking and Budgeting. And I am doing this one for self-care. I like to have a little challenge going all the time for self-care because that's what I use that money for haircuts and stuff. 
So we will start on this one next week. I appreciate you guys come, being here with me today, watching me do my minis and my other little challenges. And I hope that you will be here with me tomorrow when we're going to be doing Scratching Tuesday. We're going to do Scratching Tuesday and a little more mashup. I've been trying to, I've decided to start doing my mashup maybe twice a week so I can kind of uh, get, you know, get, start getting that one toward being done by the end of the year. I would like to get a lot of my challenges finished by the end of the year so that in January I can start out with new challenges and I want to change, you know, some of the days that I'm doing stuff and just give it all a fresh look. I appreciate you guys being here. If you like the video, make sure that you hit that like button. If you haven't subscribed, please do. I'd love to have you as a subscriber. And leave me a comment because I will answer back. I appreciate you so much. And I'll see you tomorrow for Scratching Tuesday. And don't forget, I love you. Mm -hmm.